I rang Amy earlier, but she was on a train. I'd forgotten she's on a course all day. She won't be back till five. Did you tell her? But you're actually going to go without even saying goodbye to her. Right, so Amy walks in tonight and I say, oh, my day's been dead boring compared to hers, apart from when your sister snuck off to Scotland without telling you. Trust me, it's better this way. No, sorry, maybe I'm being a bit dim here, but you're going to have to explain that to me. I can't, OK? But I've, I've got my reasons. Reasons you can't tell me about? Look, you know that I liked it in Aberdeen. My mind's made up, it's done. But, Chloe, you keep changing your mind. And now you're rushing off up there today. I don't know, it's like... You're running away from something. I'm not running away from anyone, f from anything. I, I know it's sudden and I know I should have run it past Amy, but maybe I didn't want to be talked out of it. Right, so it's a rash decision based on nothing and one that you can be talked out of. But for some reason... Actually, what is the reason? Maybe I can get it. No, trust me, this is the right thing to do. In what circumstance? Chloe, you're not making any sense. Yeah, because I'm tired and you're just... You're stressing me out. But you're refusing to tell me. You're scared that Amy might talk you out of it. It's like it's some big secret. Wait, something's not right. He's like... He's like really, really burning up. Look. Well, babies often run a high temperature, so try not to panic. Don't patronise me, OK? I know I'm a new mum, but I know when there's something wrong with my baby. 